Okay, guys, good evening once again. So, we had a demo on uh, 14th July. Uh, that is nothing but day before yesterday. Uh, unfortunately, yesterday I did not take class uh, due to some office related issues. So apologies for that. In the today class, what I will do, so I will explain about the whatever course content or syllabus I'm going to cover in the next 60 to 70 days. So just to today's introduction once again about what is the course content or syllabus, uh, whatever I will explain or whatever I will going to take the classes uh, related to cyber security, information security, endpoint security, network security, cloud security, and so on. So that is the agenda. Our main course will start from tomorrow. Is it clear and am I audible? Yes, okay, thank you so much. And if you have any questions, you can ask me end of the class. I will clarify. And uh, I created one of the Google Drive folder, basically part of the Google Drive. And here I will update the daily course content and syllabus and recorded videos. If someone is missing the course content or videos or recorded sessions and so on, so each and everything I will update based on the date along with the description, whatever I'm going to discuss. So this particular thing I'm going to disclose to the all the team or all the students by within two or three days because I'm not sure how many people are going to join in the class. So let's see. And uh, I will create one more WhatsApp group with updated students. And uh, according to that one, we can continue our classes. Let's start for today. So uh, today, cybersecurity material or course content or syllabus, whatever I'm going to discuss about the next 60 to 70 days, part of the 80 hours of the time period. So first topic is networking concepts. In the networking concept, basically networking concept, it will explain about uh, how to, what is meant by LAN, what is meant by WAN, what is meant by MAN and what is meant by PAN and what is meant by, so voice layer approach and TCP IP layer approach and what is meant by IP address and what is meant by class of the IP address, what is private IP address, what is public IP address, and also how we can classify the instant whenever any attacker is trying to do the hacking part, and also what is DNS server and what is uh, static IP and what is DHCP, and also we will discuss about a couple of other uh, port numbers and protocols and also a couple of the respect to networking related comments and finally we will discuss about networking architecture diagram so this is the overall agenda of the networking concepts so that is the first topic whoever is studied already part of the computer networks in our btech first year and also part of mca uh, first year we have one of the subject name is called computer networks so whatever we studied part of the past part of the engineering part in the similar way. So what are we studied computer networks? I'm going to discuss same as it is. So these networking concepts will explain about mainly into communication wise. When is a communication uh, whenever you want to transfer any money to your mom or dad or your relatives or your friends in the similar way, whenever you are accessing any website like a Facebook or Google or maybe Instagram or WhatsApp in the similar way, Whenever you want to do any health checkup related doctor consultancy, all those will fall under the networking concepts. Okay, so those things we will discuss our practical scenario. And whenever any topic will come with practical our day to day life, I'll explain about how our networking concepts is correlated with our day to day, our business oriented, related to each and every business sector that may be retail, that may be healthcare industry, that may be finance, uh, financial sector, that may be travel, that may be telecommunication, that may be so banking sector and so on. So that is about overall networking concepts. As per the syllabus and as per the 
so what are course content i'm going to discuss about networking concept first and foremost is osa layers it is one of the very 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 important topic part of the interview as well as part of the how we can dealt about okay so our osa layer in our practical world whatever work we are doing whatever business practical scenarios whatever we are working on so that is osa layers Second one is uh, advanced voice layers extension is TCP IP layers. So here I will explain about uh, how many layers are there in the TCP IP and uh, how the advanced features will come part of the TCP IP. Those things I will cover part of the TCP IP layers. Next one I will discuss about the classes of the IP address. Next one, I will discuss about private IP versus public IP and whenever any hacker is trying to do the hacking part, how we can classify the whether internal employees are trying to do the hacking or whether external attacker is trying to do the hacking part. So I will explain about private IP versus public IP classification. It's very important to classify mainly into insider threat versus external attacker hacking. So that is how the private IP address and public IP and also classes of IP address I said already. There are five classes, class A, class B, class D and class C. And also I will discuss about couple of very, very important things, ports and protocol. It's a very important from the entry point of view, mainly for the communication wise. We'll use couple of the ports should be open and also mainly for the communication side. If you don't open the port, port is like a physical port or software dependent port. If you're opening the port, then only we can do the communication and the protocol is nothing but it's a rule and regulation. Okay. So I will explain about part of the ports and protocols, mainly for the communication side. Next one, I will explain static IP and also versus dynamic IP. When I say dynamic IP, it is nothing but DHCP server configuration. It's one of the server every organization it will maintain. And this configuration will be done by our Windows admin team or Sys admin team, nothing but Active Directory team, whoever is taking care of the Active Directory configuration in this similar way. So system configurations and also how to assign the IP address automatically. So using Dora process. So that I will explain part of this one. So which team is involved here? Windows admin team or system admin team it's another team every organization it will maintain next one i will discuss about dns so whenever we are giving any ip address or domain name part of the accessing website how the domain name can be converted into ip address backend process and also what is primary dns and secondary dns and how many dns server every organization it will maintain part of the private dns and also public DNS. Along with that one, even I will discuss about DNS records. Every organization has to maintain a couple of DNS records to configure domain name into IP address or else IP address into domain name. So here we'll discuss about DNS records and DNS part. So all these are basics guys, and it's very, very important from each and every entry point of view. Okay, so don't forget about these topics. Next one, we will discuss about TCP plaques. And also we'll discuss about IP packet. And also we'll discuss about TCP packet. So that is about TCP versus IP packet.
then we can discuss about couple of other servers servers will discuss in the servers what are the servers will discuss we'll discuss about active directory domain controller and also we'll discuss about database server we'll discuss application server we'll discuss a web server we'll discuss about mail server we'll discuss about so exchange or server there are so many servers every organization will maintain each and every server we will discuss and what is the importance of the each and every server these servers will be maintained by the respective teams and always we should coordinate whenever any issues will come or whenever any hacking will come or any whenever any attack will compromised by the attacker how we can take care of the respective instant response or instant resolution part so that is part of the servers concept so not only these servers even as i said previously so dns dhcp extra all those servers will discuss about part of servers okay so next concept is network commands so couple of commands we'll use for troubleshooting purpose uh, whenever any issues will occur how to fix those issues how to troubleshoot those issues how, how can you trace route what is the identity of the attacker what is the identity of the end user and who is doing what whether server side issues will be there or whether end user side issues will be there for that one we have to use the couple of commands everything is like a command line interface so we will discuss about couple of network commands around 8 to 12 in between so those commands we can discuss here these commands compulsory we will use our day to day daily operations for example ip config for example git mac for example ns lookup for example mac address identification for example trace route all these commands we will use regularly to identify or to trace route to troubleshoot to debugging couple of things we will use network commands so especially most of the cases l2 and l3 and also administration implementation guys will take care of these network commands to take care of the who is doing what and how to fix the issues and how to troubleshoot the issues how to debug the issues for those scenarios we can use network commands so next one we can discuss about network architecture diagram so every organization it will maintain in the uh, data center or on premise in the similar way even it we, we can discuss about the cloud one second sorry guys so even we will discuss our network architecture diagram this particular network architecture diagram will explain about how the on premise network architecture diagram and also what is the cloud architecture diagram i'll explain about both on premise data center architecture diagram and also i will discuss about cloud architecture diagram so i will cover both here one is on premise network architecture diagram so nothing but physical data center oriented whenever they are our client or customer they are trying to implement data center or on premise oriented network architecture diagram solution implementation in the similar way whenever any cloud oriented for example as a customer maybe i want to migrate to cloud environment in that scenario how can i take care of the respective cloud security solutions implementation part of the amazon web services or microsoft azure or gcp google, google cloud platform or alibaba or oracle and ibm so i'll explain about both on premise and cloud so that is about network architecture diagram and it's very important each and every solution whatever we are implementing we will take care of the both on premise when is on premise it is nothing but our organization or data center physical 
room oriented part in the similar way cloud oriented as well finally so up to here all these are networking concepts once we'll complete these concepts now we will go to our main topic that is nothing but security related attacks or cyber related attacks these con concepts we will discuss i don't know some where am i audible by the way yes sir you are audible yes sir you are audible man a couple of people are giving complaints stating that your mic is not good and also this lot of disturbance is there yes Yes, the background noise is coming from your mouth. The background noise is. Background noise is, uh, background noise is uh, one of the uh, prayer is going on background related to Islamic. That is one thing, and us, I am not sure. Me mouth mouth sir, is. No, no, no. I I I completely put it completely away from my mouth. Is that be okay now? Now it is good, sir. Yeah, yeah now it's good. Yes, sir. Now it is good. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Apologies, guys. Yeah. Next topic is cyber security attacks and also security attacks, and also this one I can call it as a network attacks as well. So here I will discuss about couple of attacks around fifty to sixty. Uh, these attacks I will take care of the investigation part. We will take. Sorry. we will take care of the investigation part we will take care of the respect to analysis investigation and forensic analysis part okay so we will discuss about couple of the attacks like uh, what is mean by authentication failure category what is mean by spoofing category what is mean by flooding category what is mean by phishing email category what is mean by wasp top 10 category and what is mean by malware category of the attacks around 50 to 60 attacks i will discuss in this particular portion each and every attack definition each and every attack how the attacker will do and each and every attack what is the preventive mechanisms nothing but remediation steps we have to consider so those attacks everything i will take care of the respective attack definition attack description attack vector attack surface and finally how the attack should be prevented or how the attack should be remediated how the attack should be mitigated so that is the part of the security attacks or cyber security attacks or network attacks from here onwards our cyber security will start cyber security will start from this particular topic so as i said here i will discuss about 50 to 60 attacks those attacks we can discuss so from voice layers to till networking architecture diagram and on premise to cloud everything is like a basic these basics are very 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 important so from the interview point of view not only from the interview point of view if you want to understand about what is meant by application what is meant by network what is meant by transport what is meant by organization everything should be clear part of the networking concepts okay so as i said our main course content or syllabus will start from the cyber security attacks or security attacks or network attacks so far do you have any doubts all good doctor so okay okay perfect then so that is about basics for each and every security technology whenever you want to move to physical security or endpoint security or network security or cyber security or cloud security or else uh, information security or else application security or product security ot iot security each and every security technologies these basics are common you should be aware of the each and every concept should be thorough and each and every concept should be you should be aware of then only you can crack the interview guys forget about the interview you should learn it 
what is meant by organization, what is meant by network, what is meant by cloud, what is meant by data center, what is meant by on-premise, who are all the stakeholders are available in the organization, how we can coordinate with each and every stakeholder, and how we can secure our organization, how we can protect our organization, how we can take care of the so detection and mitigation, remediation, and also investigation and root cause analysis part. So these are all the things are common and all these concepts are very, 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 very basics and very, very important. So that is about networking overall concept site. Here we go. Then we will start with our endpoint security. Whenever, if you want to move into any security technology, first and foremost, you should develop all the security technology. Then only you can move into whatever technologies we discussed part of the demo. We discussed about 12 to 13 or 14 or 15, whatever. So these basics are always basics. And these basics you should not ignore. And anywhere you are going, and these basics are very, very important. Every security technology, even maybe you or maybe you or maybe me or whoever it may be. So a couple of times they'll expect basic also. That basic is very, very important. Okay. So now I will start with the respect to security technologies. Endpoint security. This is also called as, what did they say in the demo? What is another name for endpoint security? EDR. Not EDR. Not perimeter, Priyanka. It's a EPP, endpoint protection. So endpoint security, also called as endpoint protection, is one of the interior question from the Bangalore company that is called, uh, I will not disclose the company name, what is meant by EPP, endpoint protection? Okay, under this one, what is meant by, first of all, endpoint? Endpoint is nothing but every employee, whatever asset, asset means not here about our property, asset is nothing but here, what is the machine we are using? Whether it is a laptop or MacBook or workstation or desktop or server, or even our mobile as well. So these things we'll consider as a endpoints. I'm repeating once again, every organization it will maintain endpoints or assets are laptop or MacBook or workstation or desktop or servers or personal computers or personal mobiles. Those machines, we will call it as endpoint. So most of the attacks will occur through endpoint only. Why? Because employees always, they will go and they will do the browsing. They will go and they will do unauthorized malicious websites. They will go and they will do the Trojan websites. They will try to access those websites. If you don't implement the proper security controls and proper security solutions, obviously our machines will get compromised. So for that reason, we have to implement a couple of security solutions related to endpoint security. Those endpoint security solutions are antivirus or EDR and also called XDR. So these are all the endpoint security or endpoint protection solutions in the similar way. Encryption, don't worry about all this terminology. Tomorrow onwards, I'm going to explain about what is mean by each and every definition, importance, and whatever we are going to discuss next to 60 days, these are terminology. So tomorrow onwards, I'm going to explain about each and every topic, abbreviation, acronym, and also about terminology point of view. So don't worry about today class. Today class just about what is the course content I am going to cover next 60 to 70 days. 
encryption this particular encryption is also called as data at rest why because without human being help without human being support can we travel our laptop yes or no without any human being intervention without any human being without any employee can we okay so take away our laptop or macbook or mobile yes sir it's not possible right yes yes you are right so that is the reason this particular encryption we can call it as data at rest so when you say rest it is static position part our hard disk always in static our mobile hard disk always in static our server as well in static will not carry away from x to y opposite to data at rest is called as data at transit meaning here we can transfer the data from x to y for example maybe you are traveling from hyderabad to bangalore you will travel along with your mobile you will send messages to your friends that is sending the messages sending the email accessing any website is called as a data at a transit level all these are very very important all these are very very basic from the security point of view what is mean by data at rest what is mean by data at a transit level whatever i am going to discuss part of the endpoint security or endpoint protection it's a completely oriented to so our laptop and macbook and workstation and desktop mobile storage and also server storage we can't take our storage from x to y location unless otherwise we can carry away from the respective laptop clear so that is our second solution third one is file integrity monitoring so whenever if you want to access any files that may be x to y y to z or video or audio or transferring the files from x to y always we have to maintain who is doing what for example maybe july 31st is deadline for the income tax declaration part of the our government of india what we have to do now we have to upload our form 16 and also we have to upload our income tax declaration portal part of the tds we have to do digital signature whenever you are maintaining the digital signature nothing but you are maintaining your identity of the user whenever you are maintaining the aadhar card signature your main integrity you are maintaining the passport nothing but your complete integrity of your thing okay so why we how to monitor the files now in the organization point of view whenever any malware category of the attacks will occur always malware category of the attacks will occur through files are fileless most of the malware category of the attacks will occur through file so that is the reason whenever any employee is adding of the file modifying of the file or updating of the file or changing of the file or deleting of the file we should consider is integrity changing for traceability side who is doing what we have to maintain integrity side for example maybe you are downloading aadhar card from the government of the other portal so now you will enter your mobile number you will enter otp or you will enter username and you download and do the digital signature part you are uploading your income tax file declaration part so you will do the digital signature and you will maintain your integrity so and so so why we have to maintain this one whenever any attacker will do hacking part always he will do deleting and updating and modifying and also changing of the files that is the reason 
we should consider about file integrity monitoring part based on the hash value. I'll put keyword is a hash value. So that is our third solution. Fourth one is DLP. So DLP, we can call it as data loss or data leak prevention. So what is meant by this one? For example, right now, in my organization, I'm resigning my in my company. I'm moving to USA or I'm moving to some other X company. So what I will do, whatever projects I worked on or whatever activities I worked on, whatever tasks I worked on, I'll copy all those files. Why you'll copy all those files? For future reference, maybe in future, whatever similar type of projects will occur, I can refer those documents and obviously I can work on those projects. So DLP full form is a data loss prevention or data leak prevention. So maybe one of the employees working on Apple company and is developing the code and he has the full admin access and he is able to copy all the data how the Apple related so phone, he knows about how to develop it. If the Apple company is not able to make trademarks or copyrights, then whatever he copied the respective code, he can go and he can do. So X, for example, take my name itself, Ramakrishna, IOS, or RK, IOS company. Then I can develop my own code and I can release the product to the public. So that is the reason. So take example of the healthcare industry related Redis lab, Arvindo lab, MSN lab. In the similar take example, ICS bank or HDFC bank. Take example of the mobile industry, Apple or Samsung. Take example of the so telecom industry like Motorola or Nokia. What are products they are choosing? So if they don't maintain the copyrights or trademarks of their losing the respective code development, not only code, whenever you can consider about overall organization point of view, data can be leaked, data can be okay violated or data exfiltration or a data breach, it will happen in that scenario. If you don't maintain the patents, if you don't maintain the copyrights, if you don't win the trademarks, obviously you will lose this particular data and you will lose your company reputation, you will lose company damage. I should not disclose here a couple of pharma based companies what a fraud they have done. And right now, they are richest pharma based companies on all over the world wide. They made it DLP violation. I will not disclose. HDS and HAPS. So host intrusion detection system and host intrusion prevention system. When I say host, always please consider as a your endpoint. Whenever I will say endpoint, always remember. So laptop and MacBook and workstation, and desktop and server. So for those machines, IDS will detect and IPS will detect and block. So that is the main difference. It is one of the very, 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 very favorite interior question. What is the difference between IDS versus IPS? IDS will detect, but IPS will do both detection as well as the prevention part. So last one is, we have any other last solution? No. There are no other solution part of the endpoint security or endpoint solution or endpoint protection. So that is about endpoint. Each and every security solution, whatever we discussed, we have sales, we have pre-sales, we have architect, we have implementation, we have L1, L2, L3 operation. So here itself, I can create approximate 20 vacancies. 
any doubt in this one any doubt i know it's difficult to digest as a first course so here itself i can create approximate so for each and every solution four to five people are required how many solutions we have five solutions five into four how many five into four how many 20 20 vacancies i can create part of the endpoint security itself okay so that is about endpoint security endpoint protection there are so many vacancies are available from tcs infosys wipro pwc deloitte so cognizant accenture each and every company that is about endpoint security i am going to discuss about sales pre sales design implementation and the l1 l2 and l3 operational support as well so that is about post security solution whatever we discussed part of the demo second security solution what is second one network security network security is also called as perimeter security whenever i am referring the perimeter always please consider as a internet most of the attacks will come through internet if you don't have the internet attacker will not compromise any organization database or application a server or endpoints or routers or switches or load balancer or network and so on but is it possible without any internet can we do any business without internet can we do any business no sir no sir it's not not possible take example of morning star take example irctc take example of the so orange business travels if you want to book the ticket whether internet is mandatory or not yes sir yes it is yes 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 it is so most of the attacks will come through internet only under the network security or perimeter security i will cover couple of these network security solutions those solutions are firewall next generation firewall ngfw next generation when i will say next generation it contains advanced features always please remember next generation when i say next generation it has the advanced features or advanced technical solutions part next generation firewall next generation antivirus next generation sim solution next generation proxy and so on so that is the first topic next one is secure web gateway swz or this is also called the proxy server what is mean by proxy interview what is mean by proxy interview somebody is doing instead of actual person yeah exactly that's correct somebody is attending the interview on behalf of you that is called proxy interview broker or intermediator or maybe so some x person is coming in between two original interviewer versus original student or maybe whoever is looking for job that is called proxy interview right in this similar way secure web gateway or proxy server is nothing but whenever internal employee they are trying to access any website or else whenever external public they are trying to access website for example maybe you want to apply job in wipro or maybe you want to apply job in tcs or maybe you want to apply job in accenture in that scenario your request will go to proxy proxy to validate whether he is a right candidate to apply job or not if a right candidate then only it will accept it you are a malicious attacker from which country you are trying to do hacking part it will not accept it 
that is called proxy so in the same way whatever i give practical scenarios right now it is applicable to our internal employees they are trying to access public websites or else external public they are trying to access our internal websites for that one we'll use one of the security solution that security solution we can call it as proxy or web gateway or application gateway if i want to give practical example you are transferring money to phone pay or google pay to your mom or dad or maybe your relatives now phone pay and google pay it will maintain so whether you are legitimate user or illegitimate user whether you are authorized user or unauthorized user whether you have registration or not if you have registration and you are valid candidate then only you can transfer the money to your mom or dad or relatives or friends so how this particular solution work based on the secure web gateway or proxy server or app gateway that is a security solution part of the networking side third one nids nips network intrusion detection system network intrusion prevention system we have seen on the host side or endpoint side intrusion detection system this is on the endpoint side nothing but operating system wise so whatever network ids and network ips we are referring here network side that may be trust or untrust or dmz or dmz so those things will fall under the nids and aps we have one more concept is called nac network access control and also we have one more solution is called as load balancer balancing of the traffic all these five solutions will fall under the network security as i said each and every solution has sales pre sales design implementation and also operational support of l1 l2 and l3 vacancies firewall is one of the very very important solution and it has a lot of meaning from the respective firewall side okay so now approximate here itself we covered here five solution here five solution how many solutions all together 10 solutions 10 into 5 how many vacancies 50 vacancies exactly exactly or right 50 vacancies will fall under only these two i am not sure how many people are able to understand whatever i am discussing right now okay next one is actually i put away from mic mau mau my mouth i am not sure why it is getting lot of disturbance apologies uh, actually uh, what about this email gateway and uh, secure web gateway is the same or something no no that is different both are different uh, priyanka both are different email gateway is completely part of the phishing email investigation only dedicated to that one there are so many vacancies okay so actually it comes under which part of security we email security so next one is email security thanks for asking priyanka or prabalika whoever so email security here dedicated to phishing emails so for phishing emails we'll use one of the security solution that is called email gateway or else email security solution 
nowadays each and every company they are recruiting so dedicated to email gateway or email security solutions couple of solutions are there part of the email gateway those solutions are proof point or office 365 so microsoft office 365 defender iron port mimecast all those will fall under the email security my ex students dedicatedly they are working on the email gateway couple of people are working on the one of the alcoholic company in the bangalore location part of the manetha tech park couple of people are working on cap gemini couple of people are working on mindtree couple of people are working on dxc dedicated to this particular solution priyanka any doubt in this one no 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 actually i just wanted to know where it fall under e exactly. email security is part of the dmz zone in okay. depth analysis i will discuss part of our main course content and syllabus sure sure fine thank you so much for asking hey okay yeah please so which email gateway that you are going to teach us i i am going to dis discuss about proof point or else uh, office 365 thank you next one is uh, application security i don't know whether you will understand about this concept or not why because this is a little bit complicated unless otherwise if you don't understand the programming language so here i will cover about couple of concepts like cryptography i will discuss about ssdlc life cycle i will discuss about web application firewall last but not least wasp top 10 so these things will fall under application security not only application security but also it will cover part of the product security so today i got one of the call from x company they are looking into dedicated to platform security what did you understand by platform security meaning here on top of the physical server they want to implement platform or on top of the cloud services we have to implement ias infrastructure as a service that is called platform security that will fall under product security not only this one even mobile security so all these will fall under so same things cryptography ssdl self cycle web application firewall and wasp top 10 here wasp top 10 is not same for all the concepts mobile it is different application it is different ics industrial control system it is different nothing but part of the ot iot and iiot so that is about application security it is one of the trending technology right now in the market as i said in our demo very 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 limited people are there in this particular technology part of the application security product security and mobile security so here we will also get the iot security right yes i will explain about iot security how much you will grasp it completely depending on you uh, no no actually i am asking you have yes yes you... i will cover i will cover yes these four topics are uh, included in this even it... the iot will come here right yeah iot when i will say take example you are sitting in a home and you are operating everything through remote control like okay. air conditioner or fan okay. your television your microwave oven your car or your cctv cameras okay. your fridge as well everything should be connected through wifi okay. and you are controlling everything through your remote control through wifi yes. that is nothing but internet of things or industrial internet of things 
so you are connecting through wifi whenever you are connecting through wifi or internet most of the attacks will come to these and you should take care of the respective security is it clear yeah it's a completely one of the trending technology and then there are so many vacancies are available in the every my multinational company by the way so that is of the application security and infrastructure security it's a legacy security so this particular thing i am considering about my own convenient way i am not referring any of the book or any of the uh, syllabus or whatever here i'll keep vulnerability assessment or vulnerability management these two only whenever you are referring infrastructure always please consider as a assets or servers or endpoints or your important your organization level and those endpoints or servers or databases you should take care of the regular patch updates regular assessment regular scanning and uh, those scanning reports we have to share with our business stakeholders who are the business stakeholders a service desk team server team database team application development team each and every team they have to fix these weaknesses or vulnerabilities or problems or issues that is nothing but vulnerability assessment and vulnerability management in a it's one of the easiest job vacancy in the entire security industry in the entire software and it security technology what is the easiest security technology is vulnerability management or vulnerability assessment approximate 25 my past students or previous students are working on dxc hp ibm tcs and also other of companies as well is one of the very very simple job so that will fall under the infrastructure security next one cloud security whatever we discussed part of the endpoint part of the network part of the email part of the application and part of infrastructure if are migrate into cloud part of the aws part of the azure part of the gcp part of the alibaba part of the ibm part of the oracle or oracle whatever we should consider that one as a so cloud security and each and every things we have to implement part of the security couple of security technologies related to iam identity access management pam and also watch guard watch trail key vault key management system kms so nacl network access control security groups sd virtual machines hardening benchmark cis electric cloud computing ecc guard ut sentinel all these will fall under the cloud security it's one of the trending technology right now in the market and there are so many vacancies that are available in the part of the cloud security as well next one next one is cyber security before going to cyber security physical security so don't think like physical security is a part of our security yes physical security also is part of our job if you want to become cso when i say cso chief information security officer you should take care of the entire organization you should take care of the overall security of the organization who is the security guard and how you are entering into the lift and how you are leaving away from the company and uh, what is termination policy what is resignation policy and what is biometric what is tailgating 
and what is cctv cameras all those will find physical touchable things that will fall physical security don't ignore this concept even though if are not working okay but as a security person you should be out of 360 degrees you should cover 360 degrees as well then only you will become ceo of the organization in my one of the ex company when i went for ceo vacancy they asked about when you working in cognizant because i worked in cognizant deal of hyderabad what is the physical security policies you are following as a cyber security or application security or network security or endpoint security whether i am aware of the physical security what they are following i will ignore obviously but you should be aware of physical security as well but anyway i given the answer access card yeah access card tailgating so biometric and the signature and uh, everything will fall under the physical security part don't ignore this one if you want to become ceo dream big one day you will become ceo of the organization as well i'll be very proud to say my student become ceo of the organization so access card we are to tailgating fencing cctv cameras physical security dog why is dog is a part of physical security why is dog is part of the physical security okay. whenever any thief or unknown person is entering into our home to steal some of the gold or money or maybe whatever dog will bark or not dog will bark or not yes sir yes sir. physical security or not yes yeah those things will fall under the physical security next one information security information security will what i will cover in this one grc governance risk and complaints is one of the very respectable job it's like auditing which type of auditing will do security auditing so always companies like deloitte kpmg pwc ncc corporation ey ernest and young they will recruit us to do internal audit or external audit but nowadays most of the people are doing bribing nothing but they are taking luncham and they are doing the auditing part can we accept this one audition yes. yeah that is what it's happening reality so next one is bia business impact analysis and the risk assessment or risk management and also i will consider bcp and dr business continuity planning and disaster recovery and also last but not least incident response whenever any incident will come part of the anything part of the application product of the product or part of the mobile part of the organization and so on we should be aware of how we can take the appropriate actions don't think like instant response will be there only part of the security it is there each and every part of the organization for example maybe you are working cognizant or maybe you are working tcs synergy park hyderabad location there are lot of floodings there are lot of earthquakes there are a lot of natural calamities like tornadoes and tsunamis will you work in tcs synergy park in hyderabad no. what will you do bcp will bcp bcp concept will apply this yeah we will go to bcp business continuity planning or disaster recovery part of the maybe so we have what is that car what is that park name 
Elbinagar, yeah. what is the park name? TCS. Yes. Yeah, Adi Batla, Adi, sorry. Adi Batla. Yeah, Adi Batla. It's around 50 to 100 kilometers away from TCS uh, Synergy Park. Maybe their earthquakes will not come. Now we will go to the respect to Adi Batla and we will continue. They are our business and we will deliver the respect to project within our time period. So incident is occurred in the Synergy Park of the DL, DLF opposite to Triple IT Hyderabad or Synergy Park of the TCS. But where we continue the business operations, we continue part of the Adi Batla. So incident where, we, where it is occurred part of the Adi Batla, but where we took the respective continuity, we took the continuity from Adi Batla. So when the incident is happened, it's not only about only from this respect to security, it is applicable to each and every IT and software, ITS and BPO industry as well. I'll give practical scenarios whenever it will occur and whenever we are going to discuss about this particular BCP, DR and incident response as well. So that is about information security and there are a lot of vacancies, especially part of GRC on the JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, and also so uh, Deloitte, KPMG, Ernest and Young, NCC Corporation, Morgan and Stanley, Goldman Sachs, Commonwealth Bank, Australia New Zealand Bank, Singapore Bank, Dutch Bank. Each and every company is recruiting, auditing, or auditor. It's one of the very respectable job, and it's a very, very, very Don't high packages. So that is about information security. Then, then, based on the GRC, we, in fee, we have around uh, uh, 50 to 60 positions open till now. Yeah, there, there are, are so many vacancies. Are, in in fee, we have now 60 open positions now. Yeah, recently I selected for Austin New Zealand Bank. Sorry to say, this call is recorded, but I did not join. They offered excellent package. Whatever package I'm going to get in USA, I'm getting in India itself, but I did not join. Why? Because GRC is like auditing. I don't like auditing. I'm more into technical side. So I'm into design. I'm into implementation. I'm into so solution part. That is the reason I did not join part of the Austrian New Zealand Bank in Manitha Tech Park, Bangalore. Anyway, it depends. I'm not uh, degrading or demotivating or uh, uh, disrespectable to other people's opinion. Whatever experience I do have, I'm giving. But your choice, your option, it's a very respectable job and uh, it's a very good job related to auditing side. Yeah, you said you are right. There are so many vacancies part of the auditing. You are right, 50 to 60 or 50 to 100, whatever it may be. So part of the auditing side. Yeah, finally, here we go. Cyber security, SOC operations, 24 by 7, using each tool, SIM tool. So it is a single unified console and here we'll take care of the monitoring part. You will take care of the alerting part, tracing part, real-time monitoring, incident investigation, forensic analysis, and everything. From the single unified console, what are we discussed? Part of the X solutions, everything will be there, part of the single console. So, so that whenever any incident will come, or whenever issue will come, whenever any problem will occur, will take care. There is no need to depending on the third party or there is no need depending on the internal stakeholders like networking team or Windows team or Linux team or application development team or endpoint security team or network security. Everything we can take care of the single console or independent console will take care of the instant investigation forensic analysis. That can be possible through one of the tool. That tool is called as SIM. Security Information and Event Management, part of the SOC operation, Security Operations Center, or else Certified Emergency Response Team, or Cyber Security Incident Response Team. That is called 
साइबर सिक्योरिटी ओके सो दैट इज अबाउट ओवरऑल सो इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट टॉपिक्स व्हाट एवर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस नॉट ओनली दैट वन एक्चुअली टाइम इज क्रॉस्ड या एज अ सेट टूल्स आई विल गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कपल ऑफ सो मेनी टूल्स नॉट ओनली वन टूल बट इफ यू नो अबाउट वन टूल यू कैन क्रैक इंटरव्यू और यू कैन क्रैक सो टेक्नोलॉजी और यू कैन क्रैक टेक्निकल स्किल्स if you are saying whatever you are able to understand or whatever you are able to grasp it you can crack it very easily for example you know how to write two wheeler bajaj maybe you can write rap maybe royal enfield or hero honda or maybe other two wheeler devices as well right maybe gear is different or maybe how to drive is different but back end concept is same as it is same way you can apply all those concepts here in the tools point of view may front end console is different front end maybe graphical user interface different front end user interface different but back end concept is same as it is for each and every solution so there are so many tools i am going to discuss part of the firewall side endpoint side cloud side information security side and the cyber security sim tool side so as i said in our demo class sales pre sales design implementation operational support of l1 l2 and l3 how you can grasp it what is your quotient whether you are isaac newton or whether it you are maybe thomas alva edison whatever it may be how much you can grasp it how much you are able to understand how much you are able to convince at the time of the interview completely it is depending on your ability capacity and also you are able to so answer the question at the time of the interview couple of people even cross my salary what are i am getting right now in india my student i am proud to say as a teacher i am very happy i am not jealous there are so many people settled down in the other countries as well part of the uae part of the dubai part of the oman part of the saudi arabia part of the kuwait or qatar or canada or australia or usa or uk whatever it may be norway and so on Uh, are you guys able to listen? I lost Tarke sir's voice. Yes, yes, even we do. We lost his voice. Yes. हेलो यस सर हेलो यस सर यस सर यार मैं ऑडिबल अपॉलिस ऑडिबल सर सम ऑफ द नेटवर्क इश्यूज अपॉलिस फ्रॉम माय साइड या व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से हियर आई विल कवर ऑल दिस टॉपिक्स इट्स नॉट अबाउट वन सिक्योरिटी टेक्नोलॉजी आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कपल ऑफ सिक्योरिटी टेक्नोलॉजीज व्हाटएवर यू लाइक व्हाटएवर यू आर इंटरेस्टेड व्हाटएवर यू आर गोइंग टू in your built your future career 
completely depending on you whether you want to go into, into information security or endpoint or application or cloud or uh, product or uh, infrastructure or uh, information security it completely depending on you how much you can take away from this particular session i will completely give it to you you can grasp it and you can get the practical knowledge and you can crack the interviews and you can select for the companies and uh, i can support 100% So do we have openings in Hyderabad for these uh, jobs? Yes, we do have a lot of vacancies in Bangalore. Uh, one of the very good question you asked, uh, Priyanka, right? Yeah. Priyanka, it's a very good question you asked. Yeah. Problem with uh, Hyderabad versus Bangalore and Chennai. Always Hyderabad salaries are completely less as compared to Bangalore. If I'm getting package, sorry, I will stop the record session.